hello everyone and welcome back to the channel it is another day and it is another scholarship opportunity to study in south korea for my south korean dreamers but before we get into the details of the scholarship that is going to offer you 1 million won on a monthly basis as allowance i want to talk about certain things that i've witnessed about most of the south korean dreamers who want to study in south korea there is this thing about everybody wanting to wait for the global korean government scholarship don't get me wrong the global korean government scholarship the gks you or the global korean government scholarship gksg that is for graduate students is a very good and important scholarship that is offered by the south korean government but there is only one problem with that scholarship it is once a year whereas there are many other scholarship opportunities in south korea that are two times a year that is there is a spring and then there is the fall admission sessions for those scholarship opportunities for example i made a video some months behind on 11 scholarship opportunities that are available to study in south korea but it is kind of strange that the video is not getting a lot of traffic which means people are not even watching people don't really care but yet they come to my facebook and instagram and they are asking about scholarship opportunities for undergraduate and graduate students you have to be proactive when you want to look for a scholarship in South Korea. This is the problem with the Global Korean Government Scholarship. The problem is that since it is once a year, if you miss it, you would have to wait for another one more year to try the second time. It is not a bad thing to try the second time, to try the third time and even the fourth time. I know a lot of students who tried two times and they had it the third time. I know some who had it the fourth time. but when you want to try the second the third and the fourth time it is important for you to take note of this fact if you did attempt it this year in 2024 without maybe korean language test that is topic or maybe an english proficiency test that is eyes or tougher make sure that the second time there is an addition there is something that you've added to your application document it can be either an english proficiency test or a topic or even maybe a work experience or maybe some volunteering activities. It is very important for you to know the purpose for the Global Korean Government Scholarship. If they are offering you that scholarship, they are giving it to you with the fact that you should be able to serve after you must have completed your studies. And one of the ways for you to prove that you can serve is for you to probably volunteer. Volunteering is one of the easiest things that you can do there are many companies and associations that are looking for people to volunteer if you are able to give in your time for free then you're actually proving to the NIEED people that you can actually volunteer you can actually share knowledge if they give you the opportunity at the end of your studies make sure you add something to your application file every time you attempt the scholarship so if you tried it the first time and you didn't have the language proficiency test make sure you have it in your second attempt if you're trying it a third time make sure there is an addition to your application it is very important don't go and submit the same information that made you to lose or not obtain the scholarship the first time or the second time or the third time make sure there is always an addition to your application and also the global korean government scholarship like i was saying is not the only scholarship there is hansi yes 24 scholarship i posted a video on that scholarship you might want to click the link down in the description to watch that video the only thing that hansi yes 24 wants from you is for you to prove that you have a deep interest in korean culture what is korean culture korean language and this is the secret korean language is not difficult the only thing that makes korean language a bit different from us the english speakers is that we say i am going home but in Korean, they say chibe kayo or nanen chonen chibe kayo. So basically, you are instead saying home go. While so, there is that difference between subject, object, and verb. If you can master that, trust me, but you need to look for a reason to learn the Korean language. You must look for a motivation. There is no way you would learn Korean language without a motivation. For some students, their motivation is that they must study in South Korea. 
and they do everything to make sure they study in South Korea. They look for those things that will increase their chances like the Korean language, the Korean culture. So Hansi Yes 24 is looking for people who have interest in Korean culture and the best way is for you to prove that you can speak Korean language. They would offer it to those who are already students in South Korea. They can also offer it to somebody who is out of Korea. But the only way you can get it if you are out of Korea is that they will do the interview in Korean language. You see, the culture is very important. There are other scholarships like KF Foundation Scholarship. There are way too many other scholarships on the channel that I cannot start talking about those scholarships. But the difference with those scholarship opportunities is that you have to apply separately to your university that is covered by those foundations and then apply separately also to the foundations for the scholarship. So for example, Postco Asia scholarship that we are going to talk about in this video, which is mainly for Asian students. They have nine universities in South Korea where you have to make sure you obtain an admission letter from that university and then apply now for them to fund your studies. They are funding mostly STEM students, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics students. So if you are a STEM student, it is very easy for you to obtain a scholarship in South Korea. And also, if you are a STEM student, there are many other opportunities for you to get a scholarship, even through a professor. It's very easy for you to get a scholarship in most universities in South Korea. If you are a STEM student, that means you are a science student, basically. The only thing that you need to do is email a professor with your cv i have a video on how to contact a professor I'll provide a link down in the description also try to read about the professor try to understand their area of research and then send them now your research proposal it should align with their own area of research tell them that you want to get into their lab you want to do a master or phd especially for those who are doing masters or phd it's easy if you do that trust me the professor will respond don't just email them email them with your cv email them with a research proposal email them with your past publications if you have any past publications it will call their attention and then they will fund your studies in south korea they will pay your tuition and they'll also give you a monthly stipend to study in south korea so you don't really have to wait for the global korean government scholarship which is a very competitive scholarship because it comes once a year for example i already have students who are preparing for the undergraduate version of the global korean government scholarship which is supposed to start in september imagine everybody in the world is waiting for that one scholarship that comes once once a year it makes the competition very huge whereas there are other scholarship opportunities that are almost offering the same opportunities like what the global korean government scholarship is offering so go down in the description and look at that video on 11 scholarship opportunities that are available for studies in south korea watch the hansi yes foundation scholarship there is also the global samsung scholarship that is offered in some universities in south korea also those are opportunities that you can take don't just wait for the korean government scholarship that will come once a year so if you don't get it this year you would spend one whole year waiting for it the next year when you're not very certain if you would get it that being said i don't want to take too much time in this video let's look at the postco asia foundation this postco asia foundation is located in pohang and they have university it is called post tech in pohang south korea they always offer scholarships in south korea every year and it is either for you to do your studies in spring or in fall spring that is in march or in september of the following year so they've launched the postco asia foundation scholarship for the year 2025 that's what we are going to talk about in this video without taking too much of your time let's get into my computer and look at this scholarship opportunity as you can see here it says postco asia fellowship graduate school scholarship for stems field 2025 postco asia fellowship program announcement like i said only for stems field it is for those who want to do either a master or a doctoral degree in a stems field in korea they are looking for promising asian students who can grow into global leaders and it's it says here eligibility applicants who have earned a bachelor's degree or above 
and show potential to grow into a leader in their respective countries. Applicants who plan to study in one of the following nine Korean prestigious graduate schools, please refer to, we will look at them. And it is for spring and fall 2025, like I once mentioned. Applicants must plan to pursue their major in STEM field that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics before this scholarship was open to every field and for nationality you must hold an asian nationality so it's very important that you make sure you are from an asian country and these are the english proficiency requirements that you would have to fulfill but if you know that you had studied either in australia canada new zealand united states united kingdom you don't need to provide english proficiency test and then for GPA, let's say on a scale of 4.0, you must have at least 2.7 to apply. And then on a scale of 4.3, you must have at least 2.87 to apply. And then on a scale of 4.5, you must have at least 3.0 GPA to apply. And then on a 100 scale, that's the percentile, make sure you have at least 82.9 on 100 to apply and the scholarship benefit it is for a two years master's degree and three years phd and then the fellowship or scholarship is going to cover full tuition fee for master's degree four semesters living expenses they will provide you one million korean won for a period of 22 months and then for phd is going to be same one million korean won for a period of 36 months and they'll also provide you with health insurance settlement fee they provide you with online Korean language class and they would give you the opportunity to fellowship in a community. And then how to apply. The application will be done on this website. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a tutorial on how we can go about applying for the Postco Asia Fellowship. I already have tutorials for the past application so you can still use that one. It will serve you. I'll provide a link down in the description. The application timeline, you must make sure you submit your application from the 1st of May right up to the 31st of May. Then this is when results will be announced and then final results by August, end of August. It is tentative, which means it can change. These are the universities that are eligible for the Postco Asia Foundation Scholarship. You have nine. NY University, Hanyang University, KAIS, that's Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. There is Korea University, that's Korea Day. There is Kyunghee University. It has two campuses, one in Suwon and another one in Seoul. There is Postec. This is Pohang, like I said. Postec is basically the baby of this scholarship foundation. And there is Seoul National University, there is Song Kyung Kwan University, and then there is Yonsei University in Seoul. It says here, if the certificate of admission is not submitted before the semester starts, the fellowship may be cancelled. So know that before you start your studies in spring 2025 and in fall 2025, you must make sure you've obtained an admission letter from one of the nine universities. So if you've not yet applied for admission, you can go ahead and apply first for this scholarship and then make sure you submit an admission letter to confirm your scholarship. It's very important. You must take note of this. It says here, note, applicants need to apply separately to their desired universities. You must make sure you apply for admission, get an admission letter from one of the nine universities that have been mentioned here. So you are supposed to get your admission letter and also apply for the scholarship. In case you've not yet applied for admission, go ahead and apply for the scholarship while also applying for admission. Because as they have said, if you do not provide your admission letter before your semester starts in spring, that is March next year, or in fall, that is September next year, 2025 you will lose the scholarship you are applying separately for admission and applying separately for the scholarship and it is your responsibility to apply for a scholarship and for admission so it is very important that you look at this document also they have a detailed information about eligibility the semesters universities that are available fields or majors that are eligible and then the benefits and then the schedule. You can scan this QR code with your phone and it will take you to the application website. That being said, this is not the only scholarship that is available right now. There is also the Postco Science Fellowship Program. It's written here in Korean. Postco Science Fellowship Program Gongo announcement. 
so if you go there it is in korean language but this scholarship is mainly for those who are in the sciences and are working i don't think it will be of importance to most people but if you feel like you want me to talk more about this scholarship let me know down in the comment that being said i'll end the video here make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one Bye bye